On the island of Collinsay there lived a farmer, and one night he awoke to hear a strange noise coming from the corner of his room. He leapt up in fright, and there he saw a hideous creature with wet leathery skin, crouched down and gibbering to itself. The farmer knew that creatures of the Fae fear cold iron, so he picked up the poker from the fire and tried to hit the creature several times, but each time it dodged him easily. Next he picked up his copper cooking pot and threw it at the creature's head, but it caught it and threw it aside and then fled from the room. Once the farmer had got over his fright, he realised that although he had leapt up and attacked the creature, it had only defended itself. It had not sought to do him any harm in return. So he put away the poker and sat down on a stool by the fire and he waited. At length, the creature came back in and sat opposite him. Its speech was strange to him, but after a while he understood that it called itself a brownie, that it had lived under the sea, but it was tired of life in the depths and wanted to come to land and work. So they made a bargain, that each night the brownie would grind enough oatmeal for the farmer's morning porridge, and in return it would get a saucer of milk and could stay at the farm. So the farmer gave it a measure of oatmeal showed it where the quern was, and that night he drifted off to sleep to the sound of the quern steady grinding. And every night after that it was the same. Sometimes they would speak for a while, sometimes they would be silent, but every night the farmer would drift off to sleep to the sound of the quern grinding oatmeal. Now this farmer wanted to take a wife, but he did not want his bride to be afraid of the brownie, so he began by telling her of it how he had met it and how hard working it was. And after she was used to the idea, he brought her to the farm to meet it. His bride was a little afraid of the creature because it looked so hideous, but she was wise enough to know that there are more things in this world than can be understood. And since the creature did no harm, she was content enough to let it be. So they married and she moved to the farm. And after a while, she ceased to be afraid of the brownie. And she came to be grateful for the work it did and thought to reward it. So she sent away to the mainland and got some cloth. And she made with that a cloak and a hood. And she left it folded by the quern for the creature to find that night. But she did not know that brownies are strange creatures and that while they are happy to make bargains, for some reason they seemed to be afraid of gifts. So when the brownie came in, it picked up the cloak and hood and gave a shriek. Alas, I have a cloak and hood, and now I can do no more good. And with that it fled from the farmhouse and was never seen there any more. <laughs>